Hello guys, hope you all are doing really well. Today's topic is how to take care of your piano. Now this topic is useful for those people who are planning to buy a new piano or who already have a piano at home. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And this is Lionel, your keyboard and piano teacher at Music Pundit, the best place to learn music online. But before that, let me tell you that we upload videos every week. So make sure you press that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on important content which we upload on this channel. So let's begin. So the first topic is the placement of the piano. So where you are going to place the piano in your house. So you got a piano and you don't know how to maintain that piano as well as where to place it. Now if I were you, I would have Google or YouTube and I would have got all these answers saying that you need to place the piano near the curtains. So acoustically, the piano will sound really well. Or you might get even these kind of answers saying that you need to place your sheet or a rug underneath the piano so that it doesn't resonate with your floor. I'm talking about wooden floor here. Um, but all those things are fine because what they are saying is true, correct. I don't disagree with that. But there is one important point missing in this. That is the health of your piano. What about the health of the piano? Because piano is made out of wood and wood reacts to the temperature of your room really fast. Now take for example, if your room, wherever you have placed your piano is really hot, then there are chances of your C note sounding like C sharp. Take for example, if your room is very cold, then there are chances of your C note sounding like C flat or vice versa. So what is the right place for the piano. Now the answer what I'm going to give you, it might be funny to most of you, but that's the practical answer. What you have to do is, wherever you're planning to place the piano, you need to take a chair and sit there and spend a couple of hours. You can read your book or watch TV or anything, but you need to spend some time in that place. Now, when you're sitting in that place, you have to see that the direct sunlight is not hitting you. You have to see that you're not feeling very hot or very cold or there is no exhaust facing underneath your chair. You should be really comfortable for those hours. If you feel comfortable, then that's the right place for you to place the piano because you have to take care of the piano for it to sound really great and for it to last really long. So that brings me to my next topic that is tuning of the piano. Uh, most of you might think that you absolutely don't need to tune a piano because piano is always tuned and uh, guitar is the instrument where you need to tune or any other instrument. But the fact is you need to tune the piano. So that brings me to my next question that is how frequently you need to tune the piano. You have to tune the piano twice a year. So you might be thinking what's the right time for you to tune the piano. So that is one month after the summer and one month after the winter. You have to give that one month gap for the wood to settle and come back to its shape. And then is the right time for you to tune the piano. Don't tune it immediately right after summer or right after winter. Then there are chances of your tuning to go completely off and your piano will sound really bad. Another important thing which I want to tell you guys is if you're planning to buy a piano in India, you have to take care that from wherever you're buying, that showroom should give you that service of tuning. Otherwise, it's very hard for you to find a tuner in India who is really good with piano tuning and who really knows how to tune an acoustic piano. So make sure you do that and then make a purchase. So my next topic is piano sounding really harsh. Now this happens to those people who play piano very frequent. You might be a professional player or you might be practicing a lot. What happens is your beater, which is even called as a hammer in the piano, gets worn out or there will be some dust particles collecting that beater, which makes that beater really hard. And when, just take for example, if a metal touches a metal, it, it will sound harsh. So you need to open the piano and clean the beater frequently. What you can do is you can just clean it twice a month or sometimes uh, even three times or if you're not using it that regular or something like that you can do it once in two months 
so you can do even that. But make sure you clean the beater because beater is the main element in the piano which gives you that kind of sound because the piano has to resonate. If it resonates, it sounds really well. So make sure you do a service of your piano. The next one is the action of the keyboard. So when you're playing the piano, the action of the keyboard has to be really smooth. You shouldn't put a lot of pressure or you shouldn't feel that your keyboard has hardened um, after using it some time. It even depends on the temperature, like wherever the piano is kept. Especially if the room is very hot or something like that, the keys become a little harder. And after using the piano for one year, two years or three years, what happens is there will be some dust or there might be some little rust getting collected on the pivots wherever the key is placed. So when you're pressing the key, you need to put a little more pressure on that. So the best solution for that is you need to open, oil all the connections and all the beaters and everything. Because you might be thinking that you are just pressing a key and um, one hammer striking the string and that's how the piano produces the sound. But that is not the case. When you're pressing a key, there are more than 50 components which move. So you have to see you grease or lubricate all the connections or all those things moving parts which makes your playing experience really well. So you have to do this at least once in a year or um, once in two years. Make sure you do that. My last few final points here is you have to polish your piano every year so that it remains shiny and glossy and you feel like playing it. Because if the equipment looks really nice, you feel like playing that equipment. My next point is keep the piano away from the moisture areas. Especially if you're placing it near the window, open window, or any area which is humid. Uh, what happens is your strings will catch mold and which will affect your sound. So how to clean it? Open the lid of the piano and take a cloth, a thin cloth, a thin fine cloth. See that it's not very uh, sharp kind of cloth where it can damage the polish of your string. So clean each and every string nicely so that the piano will sound sharp as well as new. And the last point here is you have to always check the back portion of the piano, especially if you have upright piano, uh, because there are chances of uh, your piano getting attracted to pests as well as termites. Because I've seen a lot of students complaining that uh, the back portion of the piano is completely gone. So you need to check because termite uh, love wood and the wood which they use in piano, that is the favorite food for termites. So make sure you always check the back portion of upright pianos. These problems don't come in grand pianos, especially on upright pianos. My last point for this video is always check the beater, the felt or it's called even as hammer because when you play the piano a lot, what happens is that hammer gets worn out. And if it is worn out, if you feel that the beater is not up to the mark, you have to get replaced in the authorized showroom. See that you replace the part, the perfect part which belongs to that piano, not with any alternative uh, parts because your tonal character of your piano can go wrong. So make sure you do that. So with that, I end this video here. And if you like this video, make sure you press that like button, hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you don't miss out on important content what we discuss on this channel. And also, if you're planning to learn piano or keyboard, make sure you check out my courses on Music Pundit. Because if you want to learn step-by-step -step lessons from beginning to a pro level, I have all my lessons there. So music learning is not only consuming lessons, you have to practice also. So on Music Pandit, you have guided practice routines and not only practice routines, you have quizzes and finally you have certification as well and much, much more. So make sure you check out courses on Music Pandit. So with that, this is Lionel, your keyboard and piano teacher at Music Pandit signing up. See you.